Well, hello everyone and welcome. I'm Dori Sukab, founder of Inspiration Management, and I am here today to share with you five secrets to becoming an influencer so you can increase your revenue and elevate your success. I am super excited about our time together today. We actually have people with us from all around the world. Listen to this. We have people from the Czech Republic, from New Delhi, from South Australia. I just came back from Australia, from Tokyo, from Canada, uh, from England, and of course, all over the U.S., so again, welcome to all of our international guests as well as our U.S. guests in Canada. You know, the world is changing, really. Business is changing all over the world. And what worked in the past is not probably going to work today. And because of those changes, you've got to do things differently. And if you're not being different and conducting your business in a different manner, then you're just going to get left behind. So today is about being different. Today is all about how you can set yourself apart so you can differentiate yourself, how you can position yourself as an influencer so people are attracted to you and you can make more money and be able to raise your prices. Because here's the problem right now. So many people are doing the same thing. Everybody copies everybody. It's just, it's funny. You go to one website, you go to another, to another, they're all doing the same thing. Not only that, but they're also playing the price war games. It's silly. That's not a way to run your business. And that's definitely not a way to run a profitable business. So what we want to do today is show you the secrets on how to become an influencer so you can be different than the rest. That's really what my goal is for today. So if you're tired of playing the price war games and you're ready to be different and you're ready to improve your positioning and become an influencer, then definitely you're in the right place. So here's the fact. There was a reason that you signed up for this webinar and there's a reason why you're here with me now. You're ready. You're ready for a change. And this is really your first step into taking that change. And I'm so proud of you that you took that first step. And now what you want to do is make a commitment to actually implementing what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So once you implement, here are some of the things that you're going to be able to change in your business life. One is it's going to help you improve your positioning. Two, you're going to be able to attract high paying clients and start charging more rather than discounting. Three, you're going to become the go-to person in your community and improve your overall business. And then four, you're going to be that influencer with differentiation. And number five, which is really my favorite, because once you become an influencer, you can actually impact your community and help the consumers in your community be uh, better off than they were by being part of your uh, entire positioning. So the thing is, there is no magic wand, you guys. If you want to improve your business, you have got to apply time, efforts, and money. You have got to invest in yourself. And today, you're investing in your time, which is good. This webinar happens to be complimentary for you, so you're not paying anything for it. But until you invest in yourself, the time, the money, the efforts, the actions it takes to implement, then you're not going to have that transformation that you're looking for. But if you do commit to that and get over the fact that nothing's going to get better on its own, there is no magic wand, then you're going to be able to start seeing the results that you're looking for. So some, some of you may be wondering why I'm doing this for free, since I'm mentioning investing in your education. Well, I'm doing this for free for two reasons. One, because I truly like to give back. That's very important to me. I give back to charities. I give to the industry. I, I'm always trying to be a force for the good. 
So that's one reason. The second reason is because as I go through this content, some of you are going to need help. Some of you are probably going to reach out to us and say, Dory, I need your help with this implementation. And if that's the case, it's my way to introduce you to some business tools that are going to help you get to your results faster. You see, we all have a choice. We can either be a rabbit and get to the results as fast as possible, or we can be a turtle and take our time and just take forever to get things accomplished. So the choice for you today is do you want to be a turtle or do you want to be a rabbit? Well, if you want to be a rabbit, I'm going to show you how to get there faster with a lot less efforts and mistakes. But if you're happy doing things the way you've been doing them, then that's fine too. At least you're here with me now and you're going to gain the benefits and then you do with it as you wish. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the content. I want you to grab a pen and a paper. I want you to uh, turn off all distractions so we can actually get the most of our time together. Now, four questions. If you are on Zoom with me, joining me live, you can always submit your questions through Zoom. If you are on Facebook or on Instagram, you can also submit your questions to us there. So I'm going to move fast, so keep up with me and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna go over is the content that we're going to discuss today. These are the four things we're going to go over. First is we're going to cover the power of influencer marketing. So I'm going to show you some examples that are very interesting and you're gonna see how important it is for you to become an influencer if you're not already. Then I'm going to take you through the steps of what it would take to become one. And then I'm gonna share with you the five secrets. And then I'm going to wrap up with how to implement all these strategies. Aren't you excited? Yay, so let's go, let's rock and roll. So let's start with this young lady. All of you know her, Kim Kardashian. What is she famous for anyway? <laughs> What is she famous for? Now, I don't follow them. I don't watch their show. I don't do any of that stuff. But she has over 115 million followers on Instagram. For what? What is she famous for? You know, her shape, her looks, what? what? It's true. It's crazy. But yeah, she is an influencer. There are people that are paying her, I believe, $50,000 just to tweet. <laughs> Can you imagine making that kind of money just to tweet? They have built an entire empire. By the time I'm probably done with this webinar, she'll probably be at 116 million followers. <laughs> So it's crazy. That's the power of influence, you guys, of being an influencer. Look at this. So I was doing some research. Actually, the youngest sister now is the richest. She has a net worth of $900 million, and she's the youngest. So she learned well from her sisters and, and the mom. So these people are just they're like uh, consumer magnets. Uh, whenever they wear something, the perfumes that they have, the makeup that they have, instantly, as soon as they do something, everybody else wants to do the same thing. That's really the power of influence, you guys. So let's start with the de definition. What is the definition of an influencer? So an influencer is an individual who has the power to affect purchase decisions of others because of their authority, their knowledge, their position, or relationship with his or her audience. And a perfect example for you were the Kardashians, and there are many other superstars and celebrities that have that power as well. It's an individual who has a following, and that's really what we want. We wanna have a following of people so we can have the opportunity to show them what we offer and how we can help them so they can benefit from that relationship. 
So you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, okay, well, I can understand the Kardashians are that way, but what can I do in my little city? Actually, I'm going to show you some examples about that as well. But first, I want to ask you, what are you doing right now to be an influencer? You know what? In many cases, you're not doing much. You're doing what everybody else is doing. And today, I want to shake you up so you can wake up and start doing things that others are not doing. I want you to look at your competition and do totally the opposite. I want you to make a commitment to become an influencer today. And if you do that, then you should stay with me for the rest of this webinar. So here are some reasons why you should want to put the time and effort into becoming an influencer. Well, number one is you really need that celebrity status. You've got to have that, even in your local community. Uh, you know, I go to church on Sundays, and one of our newscasters, the anchor for the evening, school, uh, evening news, goes to our church. So whenever he shows up, everybody is like very excited that Tom Sawyer is there because he's a celebrity in our community. So there are many ways for you to show up and be that celebrity in your community. Um, the other reason is you want to attract those high paying clients. When you have that celebrity status, then people know you're good and they want to come to you and you can charge them those higher prices. And then the other reason, which is to me is very important, that's for people to come and ask you for quotes and be asked for interviews and things like that. So all those opportunities will improve your positioning and allow you to attract more higher paying clients. And that's really what the goal is here. <clears throat> so I wanna show you some examples of, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> of what is possible within our industry. So I actually went to people in our industry that have created that celebrity status to, to show you how it is possible. But see, it really starts with your mind, your mindset. I want you to start thinking to yourself, I open myself up to infinite possibilities that are mine to choose. You need to repeat that phrase to yourself. I open myself up to infinite possibilities that are mine to choose. So this is Dr. Andrew Ordon. He's a plastic surgeon in California. I actually flew with him on the way to the aesthetic show. We were both sitting in first class, of course. <laughs> and he happened to sit right next to me. And he turned around to introduce himself. And I'm like, I know who you are. He's like, you do? I'm like, yes. And he said, from where? I said, well, I'm going to the aesthetic show as well. I'm one of the faculties. I'll be speaking right by you. <laughs> and he was like, wow. And he was so happy to meet me. But think of what he was able to accomplish on the doctors, right? And he's actually the MC for the aesthetic show as well. He goes every year. He speaks there. He's one of the most thought after plastic surgeons. And he has totally made himself the celebrity. Do you know what that did to his practice? Crazy. Everything went up like nuts. But how can he do that? How did he get on a TV show and became a celebrity? Again, if he can do it, why couldn't you? So that's a doctor level. Let's go down to an RN level. I want you to meet Emerald. I met Emerald at the AM Spa Conference where I speak frequently. And she's known as the Glam RN. She does injectables and she's also an operating room nurse. And look at what she was able to accomplish as an RN celeb. She has 51, over 51,000 followers. She is an RN, you guys. But again, she created that celebrity status and she actually has followers all over because that's the way she positioned herself. And again, she's an RN in Beverly Hills. So you're probably thinking, yeah, Dory, but she's in Beverly Hills. Okay, I'm going to overcome that thought too for you. I want you to meet Shelby. Shelby is not in Beverly Hills. She's in Utah. <laughs> so she has over 40,000 
followers in Utah. Again, she's an aesthetic injector and she works at Amara Med Spa. These ladies have been able to take what they do and just blow it up and be the celebrity. So do you think they're busy? Do you think they're operating at full capacity? Do you think to go get injected with uh, Shelby for Botox fillers, Kybella, whatever it is. Actually, she's known for doing famous lips. I mean, it's crazy. And what does it take to get there? It just takes application. I want you to. I want to show you somebody who's local to me in Orlando, uh, Dr. Adam Oppenheimer. He's a plastic surgeon. Actually, I know him and his uh, uncle, Dr. Shatkin. They both came to the book writing seminar a couple of years ago. And look at the picture. Now this is on his real, uh, on his Instagram. He has over 37,000 followers. Again, we're talking Orlando, Florida, you guys. 37,000 followers. And um, if you go on Real Self, I'm gonna talk to you about that here in just a second. But look, he won the award last year at the aesthetic show. Here's Dr. Ordon again, who I just told you I flew with. Here's Adam in the middle, and then another one of the uh, MC at the show. He won best plastic surgeon for an entire body lift. He was awarded that at the show. And this is actually his book that I helped him write at the book writing seminar called Smart Aesthetics. So again, it's all about positioning. So when you Google uh, Adam Hoppenheimer or when you, when you Google a plastic surgeon in Orlando or when you go to real self, to find a plastic surgeon in Orlando, you will see the influencers come up on top. And those are the actions I wanna show you today when I go over the secrets of what it takes to actually be an influencer. So if you go to Real Self, I'm sure some of you are familiar with that. If you're not, you should be, realself.com. That's where consumers go to find professionals like you. So you go to real self. Look, I'm so proud of Dr. Oppenheimer because he has over 265 reviews. That's great. And look at them. Look at the five stars. Isn't that impressive? Now you go and you look at other plastic surgeons. Look at the one above him. Uh, I apologize if you're with us but you only have nine reviews, <laughs> get with it. <laughs> Oops, I clicked it by mistake. And then you have the person below him who has only 57 reviews. So how do people make decisions today, you guys? Reviews, reviews, reviews. The more reviews you have, the more of an influencer you are, the more you're impressing a certain image in the consumer's mind, the more they're going to come back to you. And then they don't mind paying the higher prices because they know you're worth it. That's the power of being an influencer. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be that person. Sounds good? All right, so let's talk about how you prepare to be an influencer. Because again, it's not going to just happen overnight. We can't be talking about being an influencer without improving your positioning. That's really where it all starts. If you wanna be an influencer, there are some things that you need to do to your company and to yourself and to your team. So if you think of companies like Apple, like Tesla, like Chanel, uh, your BMWs, or any of these high-end brands, what are you thinking about? What do they put in your mind? If you go to Saks Fifth Avenue, if you go to Neiman Marcus, they're putting the price value way up and they're not discounting what they do. And are they in business? Are they, do they have healthy businesses? They've been in business for a long time. Well, except for maybe Tesla is the new kid on the block. But So those are the things that you wanna keep in mind. It's how do you differentiate yourself and how do you position yourself in the marketplace so people are not questioning what you do with price, they're questioning what you do with skills and status and true positioning of value. That's what you want to. So I gave you a quick little 
uh, uh, test here or assessment that you need to do. The first thing is you need to start with yourself, how you look, how does your team look, what communication style are you using, do they say um every other word when they answer your phone, or do they sound clueless when they're answering the phone? If that's the case, you're not going to be at attracting other influencers because that's part of this whole thing too, is you want to attract other influencers. Uh, your decor, how your place looks, is it organized? Is it clean? Does it give me the feeling of success or organization and style and high class when I walk in? Um, are you delivering a great guest experience? your results with your treatments, your products, your marketing, your message. So all those need to be assessed before you actually start positioning yourself as an influencer. So that's your homework is you need to do that first. So then you can go on to the next steps of implementing the secrets. All right. So defining your expertise is the other little homework I'd like to pass to you. You really need to know or you need to tell the world <laughs> what you want to be known as an expert, right? What is your expertise? What's your focus? What's your purpose? Those are some of the things, those are like your foundations. So between what I was talking about here a second ago and defining your purpose, those are the foundations that you need to have in place before you actually become the influencer, okay? So um, we want to let people know how to follow you. So here are your secrets that I'm gonna go over here. Well, secret number one, and I have to tell you, these five secrets are things that I have been practicing for years. And that's what helped me become an influencer in our industry. That's why I get speaking engagement invitations. That's why I have my articles published in magazines. That's why I asked to um, quotes in magazines. That's why I have all these things going for myself is because I have positioned myself as that. So I'm practicing these five secrets and I want you to do the same. So the first one is creating videos. That's so, it's crazy you guys if you're not doing that already. I don't know what rock you've been living under if you're not. And I don't want, I want you to put away all the stupid excuses already. No more excuses. Just get in front of the camera and start doing videos. Be consistent in your videos. So I want you to create that YouTube channel. I want you to get in front of the camera and I want you to start talking about things that you do, how you help people. What treatments do you have that make a difference in people's lives? What treatments and products do you have that deliver transformations? You don't want to be the best kept secret. <laughs> you want to spread the word. You want to tell people about what you do. So you want to educate your community, just like I'm educating you right now, except I do it business to business. You do it business to consumer. So it's the same model. You have to give them advice, show them value, educate them, and share your knowledge. You guys are all smart. You're all geniuses at what you do. So you just have to share that knowledge. And the best way to share the knowledge is through videos. YouTube is the number two site in the world. It's the biggest search engine next to Google. Well, Google owns YouTube. So these are the biggest two search engines. So if you want to be seen as an influencer, then you've got to have YouTube videos. And then, of course, you can market yourself everywhere you can go. So I was, uh, before I started, actually, I was telling everybody about Craig, uh, founder of 360 Business Videos. I won't tell you what I was sharing, but uh, so if you need help with your videos, just go to uh, 360businessvideos.com and he'll be more than happy to help you with that. But at least you've got to have a welcome video. That's like the minimum on your homepage. And then you do all your product videos, your treatment videos, your event videos, your raving fan videos. I mean, you can just have 
tons and tons of videos that will help you spread the word about who you are and help you be the influencer that you you know I know you can be. So get off your hiney and start doing it. <laughs> Promise me you'll do that. All right. So I just wanted to give you an idea of some of, this is my YouTube channel because again, I'm practicing what I preach. Um, I have a couple of hundreds of video. I, I, I lose track. I have no idea. I probably have about 300 videos now. I'm not sure. We're working on our subscribers now to increase that. So if you haven't subscribed to the Inspiration Management YouTube channel, make sure you go and do that. And you get to see some of my uh, videos right here. They've been viewed 18,000 times, 12,000 times, 11,000 times. I mean, that's again, the power of video and the influence that I can have on the people that are needing what I can teach them. It's a very powerful tool. So do it, you guys, get started. It's very important. All right, so that's secret number one, doing videos. Number two is becoming a speaker. You've got to speak, 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 speak. It's kind of like video, except speaking live is even better because there's still nothing like that face-to-face, eye-to-eye, or webinars like this because you can see my face. We're on Facebook Live, we're on Instagram. Uh, other people from all over the world can tune in and actually see me. So it's a lot different than just speaking um, uh, in a non-live event. So nothing like live events. It's the best way to really, again, influence others and do great things to educate and help other people. So I want to show you an example of actually speaking. If you do go to YouTube, to Inspiration Management, you can see the millionaire circle. Actually, I'm going to give a great bonus at the end of my talk here today about the millionaire circle. I'm going to show you how you can attend that event actually totally free. The millionaire circle, totally free. I'm going to tell you that at the end, how you can attend it. All right, so the other thing I want you to do is interview other influencers. Interviewing other influencers is a great way for you to mix with the right people and rub elbows and then become part of that circle in your community. So a great way to do that is you can create a, your own little iTunes channel, your own little podcast, and then start interviewing people. And this is such a great thing to do, you guys. Again, this is something that I practice. I interview an expert every single month with the Coach Me Expert uh, program. I do it totally free. And that way, it gives me the opportunity to get to know other experts in our industry. And all the, because I'm doing them a favor to come to my show, then, of course, they recommend me when they are mixing with other people. So it's all about being part of that community. It's all about being around the right people and choosing who you want to be around. So, you know, again, are these things that your competition is doing? Heck no. Heck no. They're not. But that's why you should be doing them. And when you do all these things and you post them on iTunes and, or you put them on YouTube and you push them out to your social media, people are going to see that you are a mover and a shaker. You're not just somebody who's waiting for people to come in and see them. You see the difference? Makes a big difference. So go ahead and do that. It's so easy, you guys. It's really, again, it's not rocket science. It's something that you can do. All right, secret number three, host and attend all sorts of events. Uh, that is the best thing you can do because, again, people can see you for who you are, how you communicate, how you dress, how you walk. Oh, it's amazing. The knowledge that you have, your expertise, all these things make a big difference on what you do. You could do events like I'm doing right now on Facebook Live or Instagram Live, or you can use Zoom like I'm using right now and do educational programs. There are so many things that you can do. Uh, 
but my favorite events are the ones that you host in your place. And I have to tell you about the most recent success story. I just got this email two days ago. This email came from John, you see his picture right here, John Wheeler. Um, he works with the Aesthetic Center in El Dorado Hills, California. Him and Dr. Rice and Luann, uh, Dr. Rice's wife, they own uh, the Aesthetic Center and they did their grand opening the other day. And I received this email from him. Dory, the event was great. We made 177,500 $177, last night. They did it during their event. $177,000, you guys. It was absolutely unreal. You would have been proud. We used your system. Oh my God, that, you know, again, this is not the first time anybody wrote to me and said that. I have many clients that do 180,000, do 200,000 in one event. But you know what? They apply the system. If you don't apply the system, you're not going to get these kind of results. If you don't believe you can get those kind of results, you're not going to get those kind of results. So I'm so proud of them. I am just so excited for them. They're actually Coach Me Platinum members. And um, they're coming to the mastermind group meeting next week that we're having here in Daytona. And it's all a bit, again about learning new things, learning things that work and applying them. So if you don't have your hands on the secrets to successful Medi Spa and Day Spa event planning, you're crazy. You've got to go to the shopping cart right now and buy it right away because you're going to make this kind of money doing events following my system. Pretty cool, isn't it? So proud of them. I can't wait to see them on this trip so uh, when they come next week so they can share their success with everybody and learn from one another. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. We're getting a lot of people say, yes, oh my gosh, I want to do this. <laughs> We have some questions also coming in here. I'm going to probably pause uh, and take a couple of them. If you guys want to, let me see, shoot them over to me. Captain, I was really asking about being afraid of doing videos if she can be coached. If we offer coaching for uh, doing videos? Right. Okay, so the question comes actually all the way from Australia, and she's asking if she can be coached to do videos. Well, again, that's really from my intro. What I was telling you is that some of you uh, may need some help. Why am I doing this for free? Because some of you may need some help. Well, of course, we can help you uh, with your videos and coaching you. We have actually a whole structure on how the video should be conducted, how important it is to have a hook in your video, how important it is to focus on the benefit in your video. Uh, creating your offer and making sure that you have an enticing offer and then a call to action. Those are all things. I have a system for everything. <laughs> that, that should be my middle name. Dory System Sukup. <laughs> you, you've got to. If you don't have systems, then you're winging it. If you're not testing the systems, then you don't know whether they're working or not. So you've got to do that. And that's so cool. Actually, I was just in Australia. Uh, I think she's from South or Melbourne. Is she from Melbourne? Uh, we were just in Melbourne. Uh, Charlie now is going to the University of Melbourne. I'm sure you guys read about it in our newsletter, but I'm so proud of him. He's doing great. And he's studying one semester there. He loves it. So thank you for joining us all the way from Australia. Nice. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, build relationships with local media. It looks like I have another question that we can... Uh, Ask him about how do I get the work on media. Yes. So uh, what we want to do, actually I teach that how to do a media kit and how to create something uh, great for your media reach. And that, again, is all a system. As a matter of fact, during the mastermind meeting we're having next week, I'm going to show the Platinum Group uh, how to create a newsroom online. Because media kits 
are actually almost a thing of the past. So you can still do one if you want. You should have one anyway. But really, the way to go is to have a newsroom. And the newsroom is basically your media kit online. So I'm going to show them an example of one that we did for one of our Titanium members, actually. We just about to launch a new membership called the Titanium. And we already have one new member without even really launching it officially. But I'm doing a newsroom for her to show as an example. But I have to tell you, if you don't focus on building relations with your local media, then you're not going to go as fast in your influencer positioning because the media can play a big big role in that positioning and if you don't do that then again you're not going to get where you want to go but remember if you don't have videos if you're not speaking if you don't have podcasts if you don't have all these things the media is not going to be interested in you that's why implementing those secrets would be very valuable in gaining the media's attention you see so again we're setting good foundation and then we're doing all these important things that we need to do and that's actually how you gain the media's attention all right so secret number four be on social media uh, you know again uh, with your positioning, because you're more uh, business to consumers, you should, you should just be a Shelby. You should be a uh, Emerald. You should be a Dr. Oppenheimer. You should have that kind of following. It's much easier with consumer followers than it is like for me with business following because I'm going business to business. There's only so many many spas. There's only so many day spas. So it's a little bit more difficult for us. But if I was going to consumers, oh my gosh, you would just blow it up because there are so many more consumers that you can convert into your following than there are business to business. So whether it's Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, any of those things are just so, so important. Uh, LinkedIn, I have to tell you, is probably the most underutilized platform of all the others. And you've got to be on LinkedIn. That's where all the professionals are and where you can make connections and get to where you want to go. So I'll just give you a quick little example. I was on LinkedIn on Sunday morning and um, I went to who viewed my, my profile and I found out that, um, was it Tim Brown? Was, it was Tim Brown who played for the Chargers, uh, who was a Heisman Trophy winner and um, other winner. Wasn't he another winner too? Heisman winner and something else. <laughs> but anyway, so I noticed that he viewed my profile. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, he must have a Medispa or he's looking for something. So I reached out to him, left him a message. And uh, like within an hour, he reached back to me and said, oh, Dory, did you know I own Medispas? So here I am. I just connected <laughs> with an NFL player online on LinkedIn who owns Medispas who needs my help. So those are the kind of, is that a connection with an influencer? Oh my gosh, heck yes. So those are the kind of things that you can do by being proactive on the social media sites and being uh, out there and explaining what you do and how you can help people. So those are just some quick little examples for you of what people can actually do. So I want you to become that celebrity. I want you to position yourself in a way that people are going to be drawn to you and be showing you as the celebrity that you are. So that's what we want to do, right? Be that celebrity. Okay, so secret number five is write, 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 write. You have to write articles. You have to write blogs, you have to write a book. Again, those are things that influencers do that you need to be on top of. 
And if you don't want to, again, uh, transform your positioning, then don't bother to do it. But if you want transformation, if you want to become an influencer, then you've got to do this. And the minute you do it, the minute things change for you. Um, I have to tell you, when I published my book, my business just went on steroids. And until you do that, again, what do you think of someone when they're an author? When they have their name on a book? They're an expert, right? And that's what is going on here, is the more you position yourself as an expert, the more influence you're going to have the better positioning you're going to actually achieve. So um, not only writing, but also if you get other people to talk about you, that's always a good thing too. And that helps you become an influencer as well. So we talked about the five secrets and they were creating and posting videos, speaking, hosting and attending events, being on social media, and getting published. So these are all the things that you need to do to actually gain a more influencer positioning. So I told you that you might ask for help after we talk about this. And some of you are gonna be able to do all these things at once, and some of you may not. So if you need help, then the one way I know I can help you is through private coaching or through attending some of our seminars. So we have a brand new website called becomepublished.com, becomepublished.com. On becomepublished.com, I show you how you can attend a two-day seminar. It's called Write Your Book in One Weekend and how I can help you get published. Once I get you published, I can show you how to improve your overall positioning and be that influencer that you need to be. I'm gonna show you how to go on a book tour, how to present yourself to the media, how to get these interviews, how to get all these complimentary uh, media positioning for free, <laughs> or it doesn't even cost you any money. So that's becomepublished.com. So again, I'm not just telling you this to tell you this. I'm telling you this because I have helped over 100 people already become published, and I know I can help you too. So the one story I'd like to share with you is actually it's a husband and wife team. They're both doctors, George Davis and Sakina Davis. They're in Texas, and they came to the book writing seminar and they uh, have them now on their website. They use them for book signing events. They're getting media interviews. They're doing all these things. So I just wanna show you and share with you what Dr. Davis has said about the book writing seminar. So listen to this. Let me make sure I have my volume up. I'm Dr. George Davis. I'm a physician from uh, Houston, Texas, and one, uh, day my wife came home and said that we're going to go to a book writing seminar and I was a little surprised. She had went to a uh, seminar with Dory and called Leap Ahead and actually found a lot of useful information from that seminar and started incorporating that into the practice that we have together in uh, North Houston. So she said we're going to change our uh, vacation plans and come spend a weekend and write a book and I was kind of surprised saying that how can we write a book in a weekend? Well, once we got here and started to do the process, uh, found out it's actually a lot easier than what it sounds. Um, once Dory was able to pull out the uh, information out of her brains, we already know all the information, but just getting it down on paper. And in doing this process, we found out we could probably write a small book in less than a day. And then she's gonna work through us to get, help get it published, and we can use this for our patients and give them more information. So all in all, the process has been phenomenal. Been very easy. Uh, in fact, I already have ideas for a second book. Pretty cool, huh? So it's doable. I know you're probably thinking, there's no way I can write. I'm not a writer. I don't know where I start from. What's beautiful about the process and the system that I teach you is that you can duplicate it and use it over and over and over. 
So you'll be able to put out blogs, put out articles, put out books very easily. Again, if you have a formula, then it's easy to follow. But if you're sitting there trying to reinvent the wheel and make costly mistakes, then it's not going to work out for you that well. So this is Cindy. Cindy came also to the book writing seminar and she published her book. She's a nurse practitioner and this is her book that she published. And this is Magic. He's from Michigan. This is his book that he published. He's also a platinum member. And then we have uh, Carmen. Carmen has a very successful business, the finery. She's like the best in tattoo removal. She has several locations. She was on the Coach Me Expert interview actually last month. We have Dr. Okoro. He's a plastic surgeon. He's famous for Brazilian butt lift. So he came to the seminar and wrote his book. Literally lots and lots of people that have actually done that. Here's Dr. Oppenheimer's that I was just showing you earlier, uh, facial media. So it's a lot of people, whether you have a day spa, whether you have a med spa, either way, writing a book will truly help you become that influencer that you need to be. So here are the choices I was talking about. So you can be a, a rabbit and move very fast come and join me for some of our seminar and educational events, and I'm gonna arm you with everything that you need to just take off. Or you can just procrastinate, delay, oh, you know, this is just out of my reach, not opening yourself up to the opportunities that you have, or, oh, I don't have the money, I don't have the time. Let's face it, there's 10 million excuses you can come up with as to why you should not do something or you can be proactive, get going, so you can crush the competition, raise your prices, become that influencer in your community, and come and join me. So the choice really is yours. You know, I started out telling you why I'm doing this for free, so you can take the knowledge that I showed you, and if you can do it on your own, God bless, go for it. But if you need some of my help, I'm here to help you. So here's what you get with the books. Uh, there's several people have been asking, what do I actually get? So it's a two day event and usually we do it on a weekend. Um, you get to come, I get the book out of your brain. We actually talk it out. That's how we do it. There's a process. We get it transcribed. So now you have a Word document and then we send it off um, for professional editing. We do the design, the layout, we create the cover for you, the back cover, all the things. Actually, we have few people with us online today. Dr. Sandu is um, actually here. We helped her also with her book. So you get the layout, the design, everything. And then we give you a PDF so it's ready for print. We even give you resources where to get it printed. And then um, I show you how to implement the whole reason why you actually did this book. We list it on Amazon for you. So not only your YouTube videos would be seen on YouTube, but also your book can be found on Amazon. I have to tell you, I get a check from Amazon from my book uh, all the time. I didn't write my book to get checks from Amazon. I wrote my book to be an influencer in our industry, but I actually get checks from Amazon on a regular basis for my book sale because again, Amazon is the other huge site that people go searching for things. So we list it on Amazon for you as well. So those are all the things that we do for you to help you become an influencer through actually writing. So here's the big bonus I wanna give you. And I know we have some more questions here I would like to leave some time to answer. But here's the bonus. You sign up for the book seminar now, and I'm going to give you one free ticket to the Millionaire Circle. That's $2,900. It's $2,950. So you buy the book writing seminar, go to becomepublished.com, and you're going to get to come and join me for the Millionaire Circle for totally free. This is my newest creation, the Millionaire Circle. I'm teaching people how to be millionaires. So we had our first one and 
the seminar is already invented. Actually, John, who did the 177,000, is a millionaire graduate. And uh, those are the things that I can help you. You need me in your life. You need me to show you the way. So you can just stop putzing around and start making the millions you deserve. You work too hard. You work way too hard. You need to just simplify things, follow my blueprint, and make your way to millions. So sign up for the book writing seminar. Let me help you become an influencer, show you how to get the media interviews and improve your positioning, and you get to come and join me for the Millionaire Circle totally free. That's an amazing offer, and you should do it right away. So go to become publish.com and check out all the details. So I have some time for some questions here. So what's coming in? I have Tammy from New Jersey and she's wondering if she should hire a social media person or if you can help her with that. And she's also wondering about the newsroom if that lives on our website or how is that? Work? Okay, great question. So the hiring of somebody to do social media, if you don't have the time or you don't have somebody on your team to do it, then yes, definitely. Somebody's got to do it. If no one's doing it, then it's not going to happen. But be careful. I have some clients when they first come and call us, I have somebody right now who's paying $1,000 a month for getting like a couple of posts here and there. They're not very proactive. So if you're gonna hire somebody, they better deliver. They better come in and, and do some real shots in your place, not using stock photos and not using stock videos. I mean, they need to come in and be real. The more real you are with your social media, the better off you are. So if they're willing to do that, then definitely hire someone. It'll be a great thing for you. Now, as far as the newsroom, the newsroom actually is a little program I'm going to start offering to create for people. That's why I wanted to see what's involved. It could be part of your website or it could be your name's place and the newsroom as its own domain. Or you can also link them together. And what the newsroom is meant to do for you is to show you as an influencer. It's gonna show who you are, tell your story, show the results that you do, have uh, samples for the media of webinars you've done or podcasts or interviews or videos that you've done. So basically what you're doing with your newsroom is you're making it easy for the media to come and get to know about you, see how they can do a story about you, put your press releases there, do all these things that otherwise you're not doing. So you have your logo, you have your uh, bio, everything is on there. So if I'm a media person and I come to your newsroom, I see what's new, how I can do a story about you, and how I can contact you and get everything that I need. So that's the purpose of the newsroom. So this is my late, latest innovation. We're doing one for us, as a matter of fact. And then I want to do one for all of our uh, community members also. So it's a great thing to do, for sure. I have, thank you for your question. Yes, I have another question. Yes, Kathy wants to know if you handle the publishing of the books when she attends the book writing seminar. That's a great question. So what we do is actually self-publishing. Yes, we do everything for you. So every book will have an ISBN number so you can sell it on Amazon and create space and other places like that. So what we do is we format the entire book for you. Again, we do the cover. We do all the necessary information inside it put the US, uh, ISBN number on the back, and then we publish it for you. So it's a super easy process that we can do. And we've done for many other people. Great question. You're kind of a humorous one. Uh, Thomas wants to know if you get paid to do these speaking engagements. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Well, when you're a very famous influencer, you would. <laughs> Actually, I'm just getting ready to launch the DoriSukup.com where I am. I usually now get paid by gaining like my uh, booth for free, hotel rooms for free, sometimes flights for free. That's how I get paid for speaking. But I really want to charge a lot more for my speaking. So that's why I'm doing DoriSukup.com now so I can charge a lot more. So once you reach that level, then you can definitely charge more. But until you get to that level, you should be speaking for free. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yes. All right. We have a couple more questions here. Yeah, this one uh, is a, a client of yours that actually is wondering, what would it take to host a uh, influencer event? In other words, I guess he's wondering, inviting influencers to come out to his spot. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. So uh, to get to that point where you're inviting other influencers, you have to do like a VIP event. You have to make it very high end, send out an invitation actually in the mail, not just an email. So you have to elevate the actual event itself to be able to attract those people. But a better way yet, really, you should find out who the, in the millionaire circle, actually, I teach you how to do all these things and uh, how to attract those kind of people. But for right now, a good first step is to go on LinkedIn and start browsing and finding who these influencers are in your community and then see if you are connected to them as a second connection or a third connection and then try to use your influence, your circle of influence into that. So we have someone here, Chris raised his hand here online. Can you see if Paul can give me the question there? So uh, that would be a great way. So again, the website is becomepublished.com. And if you want to uh, find out more information, of course, you can always give us a call at 386-226-2550. I want you to become that person you can be. I want to wrap up with this, you guys, unless I get another question here. You went into business to have more freedom, less stress, and make more money. And in most cases, when people first reach out to us, they're working more, have no time, and they're totally stressed out. So if you're ready to actually put all that away and become the influencer that I know you can be, then you need to start implementing the five secrets. I have five questions in here. So that I need to answer that just popped up on my screen. Okay, so uh, one here is from Cheryl Baba. She asked, uh, what goes in the media kit? Do you have a class or a book on this subject? So uh, actually I do. Uh, I have something for everything. <laughs> so the uh, media kit, you need a letter of introduction. You need your menu. You should have a gift card inside it to invite them to come and see you. Any kind of article or book that you've written would definitely be helpful to impress them. And then your story, something about you. And then your latest press release. So those are some of the things that you should have in the media kit, Michelle. Okay. So we have also another question here from Christina. What do you suggest for a website for someone with limited income, barely making a profit, and my spa has been in business for four years? Oh, Christina, you need to come to the Leap Ahead Seminar. That's what you need. You need that blueprint. All right, so what do I suggest for a website? Well, even if your website is only one page, if it's attractive, if it has a good image, if it has good content on it as to why they should come to you, if you have raving fans on there, people raving about you, then you don't need a $10,000 website. It could be a small boutique type of website. But most importantly about your website is it has to be optimized so people can find you. So if you put videos on there, if you start blogging, if you start writing, then again, even if it's only one page, Google's gonna like it 
And when people go out there searching, they're going to find you. Uh, I have an entire, if you go to free inspiration management, um, if you, I'm sorry, if you go to inspirationmanagement.com and go to the free inspiration tab, there's all kinds of modules and free things I have on there that could probably help you. But I would definitely recommend um, coming to the leap ahead. If you've been in business for four years and you're barely making it, you need more than a website. You, you need the whole model. I can help you. You should come to that one. I have somebody here asking, what is involved with the millionaire circle? Oh, I love my millionaire circle. So the millionaire circle, I teach you the TMSP system, how to target, how to market, how to sell, and how to profit to the affluent. So the entire event is how to go after the affluent clientele. I give you the whole process that you need to go through so you can raise your prices, have less clients that are paying you more and get your way to the millions. So that's the whole um, strategy behind the millionaire circle. So it's a three day event like the leap ahead seminar. And I go over the entire process with you. So you actually leave with this entire system on how to attract market sell and profit from the affluent. So if you go to inspirationmanagement.com under the seminar tab, you'll see the millionaire circle there. Oh, Chris is asking, should I postpone my grand opening event until after I attend your seminars? Uh, we should at least have a conversation. <laughs> you should call my, af uh, my office and reserve a coaching call so I can learn a little bit more about your business before I can actually answer your question, Chris. So make sure you call. Let us learn a little bit more. Um, you definitely need at least the event planning uh, audio like John just did. So his grand opening generated 177,000. So that's what you need. <laughs> so do that. No. And then Christina says, Oh, I'm coming in October. Well, good for you, Christina. That's wonderful. Uh, and then someone's asking how much are your coaching calls? I'm not cheap. <laughs> So my coaching is $500, but it'll be the best $500 an hour you'll ever spend. We can get so much accomplished in that one, one hour, you'll be amazed. So it'll be very well worth it. So that's my fee for coaching. All right. I think I have answered all the questions. Thank you, you guys, for all your questions. I'm so excited that you joined me. Uh, again, I welcome you to go to becomepublished.com. Let me help you be the influencer that I know you can be. So you can have a much nicer business, more successful business, and live a happier life. So I hope to see you at the next one. Until next time, stay inspired. Bye now. <laughs>